So we're all in the pub now, we sat down at the table, we've ordered our food, we're waiting for the kitchen to prepare it and hopefully it all tastes good. Hey, Future Lucy here with a little bit of context on this vlog. A few weeks ago, James invited us all down to his pub to get our opinions on the food and on the pub itself. We thought that'd make for a great food truck video, so we filmed the entire evening. But unfortunately, that video ended up being about three hours long, so obviously we had to chop quite a bit out of it for the final version that's on Food Tribe. So I thought I'd grab a few of the bits that were chopped out of the main video and post them here so you could see a little bit more of what went on at our table during the evening. So without further ado, back to the pub. It was Frobisher's, Lucy. Was that what was in Clarkson's farm shop? Yes, the apple and mango, that's what's in the farm shop. Is that what's yeah, in it? Yeah, so it is. It's like, what do you call it? But, but the one that we had was quite out of date. Yes. What, what, what's that drinks one called? The... JTO. JTO. It's like a like fancy, fancy, fancy JTO. That's true. It's Hake Fish. <laughs> it's like Haddock, right? Yes. Kind of, yeah. It's like a it's nice white. light, yeah, light white fish. All white fish taste the exact same. I back that so many times. Even scallops taste. Haddock, haddock and cod. Scallops, scallops are like rubbery. Yummy. Yeah, and flavour wise, I don't mean texture. The texture's are different. The cuts are different, like for their all I sour or whatever. You're wrong. But I think they all taste very similar. <laughs> no, no. I'm interested, these potatoes are not what I expected. The what crushed potatoes. Expect? I mean, that's exactly what I would have expected. Yeah, that's just a crushed <laughs> potato, darling. Scathing. I thought it'd be like little, like, parmanche potatoes almost, not mashed in a different form. But this is my, like, my idiocy. Like, <laughs> you all knew. <laughs> anyway. What did you call them? Pa par so what? Parmanche potatoes. Parmanche. Parmanche. Parmentier. What the hell's a parmentier it's potato? Basically, it's basically a cubed chip slash a mini roast, roast potato. Roast They're really good. Oh. Basically, Mr. Palmanche was a prisoner of war in Prussia and no one ate potatoes in France when he came home. So what he did was he did a really cool marketing scheme where he planted potatoes in a field and put them under armed guards. People were like, oh shit, this weather's in this field on the armed guard. I need it, I want it. So people went and started potatoes and then he started getting the heart of France with potatoes. I really, really hope you just made that up. I haven't, it's true. I've been very Yeah. I say fun fact. It was a fact, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so did he have a monopoly on the potatoes? No, he didn't. He, did, he didn't want to sell. He, didn't, he just he didn't wanted people yeah, to eat potatoes. He didn't want to put any financial gain. Oh, he just wanted yeah. everyone else to know the pleasures yeah. of potatoes. Yeah. He sent potato flowers to King Louis XVI, I think. I found whenever I have a fancy chicken kit, it doesn't explode with the juice in the same way a 99p one does. Yeah. <laughs> is that the case? I've never experienced a fancy Kiev, but yes, that is the case. At school, you'd see if you can like spray it right across the table now. Your chicken kept at school. We had we had like turkey so, strips. Match tea was either chicken Kiev and mash or sausage mash. What's match tea? Um, what? Oh, I've never heard of that. You're saying these things as if yeah, they're really obvious, Lucy, and they're really not. <laughs> you play a match against another school. We're privately educated, and we don't understand this. You have match tea. Right, okay. Never but that needed to be explained. Did they not feed you after you played your away game? No, you no. Won? You went home. We just got to chase like a single tennis ball around a muddy <laughs> field. You were lucky. On Sunday, we were allowed to go into town. Oh, I thought it was like Hogwarts. Harry Potter! And then the school uniform was the exact same as Wild Child. I was like, okay, English school is going to be lit. Oh, yeah, and then I got completely bullied because I got the other way here as well. There's no need to laugh like that. It's too obvious to you. English school is going to be great. And then I got really bullied. <laughs> it's 11pm now. I've moved upstairs to my room in the pub. It's quite nice. I am still offloading all my rushes. It's gonna be a late one, yay. Overall, I think today went pretty well. We got three videos, which was really good. I was so impressed with the pub. I didn't expect it to be as light and sort of open as it was. It looks really modern and I think that's nice. I know it's not finished yet, but from what I can see at the moment, it's gonna look really cool when it's done. The food I thought was really good. I really enjoyed my starter. I went for the mushroom soup and it was really delicious. I was quite happy that they served it without the cheese croutons like I requested, which was epic. For the main course, I went for the beef and that again was really nice. I wasn't a huge fan of the broccoli. I thought it was a bit undercooked for my liking. I quite like sort of mushy vegetables, which is probably me. 
um, whereas most people like crunchy things like broccoli so I thought that that was a bit underdone for me other than that everything was lovely the fried onion bits on my beef were a really nice touch that was really nice I was less keen on my dessert I went for something that I'd never had before and there was quite a lot of orange flavour in it and it was really sour um, I don't think it worked particularly well with the coffee it wasn't to my liking exactly oh my rush is just finished I didn't really enjoy the dessert as much as my starter and my main. That's mainly because there were pieces of orange in there and it made it all quite sour. Overall though, really happy, had a really nice meal. This is probably the first time I've had a group meal since the start of lockdown, so it's been a while. Really enjoyed it, James was great as always, and I'm hoping that we get a nice bit of content out of this. So that was our evening at James May's pub. If you haven't seen the main Food Tribe video yet, then go give it a watch. I'll put a link to it in the description. Sorry, this video was a little bit odd. I filmed most of the vloggy stuff on my phone and unfortunately it kept running out of storage. Luckily though, I've now upgraded and I've got a phone with way more storage, so that should never happen again. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.